Crews have been at this Orrington house since late last night and battling this fire has been complicated for two reasons. One, the nearest water source is nearly two miles away and two, there is live ammunition inside the home. Now, New Center was here at 1230 one o'clock this morning and uh, let's look at some of that video. So multiple fire departments came out overnight to help fight this blaze on Snow's Corner Road. Officials say that one person was in the home at the time the fire broke out. That person made it out safely safely after, believe it or not, jumping from the second story. They suffered minor injuries, but refused to be taken to a hospital. As I mentioned earlier, live ammo inside the home has made things tricky for firefighters. At one point, it went off inside the home while firefighters tried to keep the flames at bay. Officials say things are under control now. The firefighters went into defensive mode around one o'clock this morning. We're under control. Um, we still have a bunch of pockets of, of hot spots in the building. So we've done really all that we can do. The building's unsafe. We can't get in it. Um, so we've called in an excavator to come in and help us remove some of the outside walls to access those pockets of fire. And so at this time, we're just keeping it in check, waiting for that machine to arrive. Now that machine did arrive just a few minutes ago and it made its way to the back of the home uh, where it's able to to do that work that needs to be done for the firefighters. Now the cause of this fire has not yet been determined, but Lee and Sharon, I'm told that the fire marshals uh, will be investigating. Back to you. Hannah Deneen, live in Orrington. Thank you for that report.